Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, my wonderful Friday off. As you can see, I got my new sunglasses. So far so good. I already know I can't see the back of the A7C screen, uh, you know, because these polarized lenses pretty much kill that. So what do I have today? <laughs> Besides bugs going in my mouth, I have my A7C on the Weeble 2 and I am in Pleasure House Point, and I'm going to do some testing. Now I know I always go to the uh, Great Neck Park, the woods behind the rec center, but I decided that it was nice enough and I kind of wanted to go for a longer walk than back there, and here I am. So I'm gonna be doing that vlog style that I don't like where I set the camera down and walk past it and show you all the dumb shit that I'm doing, but you know, it'll give you an idea of, of how I'm maneuvering with this Weeble 2. So, let's do that. Okay, took me a minute to get that all set up, and I can't see the screens, but I'm walking over this treacherous portion right at the beginning, so that I'll give a good indication of what this might look like. Okay, so I definitely have to learn a little bit more about this whole gimbal thing. And I might have to take my sunglasses off because I can't see the friggin' screens because of the polarization. And uh, it's making it very difficult to see what the hell I'm doing. I put it into go mode, but I think I'm gonna have to take it out of go mode and do the pan follow mode because uh, it ain't moving and I don't like it. So, all right, let me turn that on too. All right, so yeah, let's continue to play. Oi, okay. So this has been kind of annoying. I have never run into this much of a bug issue before especially spiders. I'm, I'm literally covered with web. Um, I've walked through two of them. I caught one just because it shimmered off the sun as it was crawling on its web across the path. So, yeah, and I've already been bitten twice by something. Not spiders, I don't think. So yeah, fun times. Love bugs. But it is nice and peaceful out here. It's a very still day, hardly any breeze at all, and it's probably somewhere in the 80s. More spider webs. God damn. Honest to God, what the hell? Probably gonna get carried away by them. Get off me. Jesus, this is getting absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, this thing is pretty heavy, this whole setup. So I have the Weeble 2. I have the transmitter AI underneath, uh, you know, mounted underneath where it goes. And then I have the A7C in its small rig cage, which it stays in. That is on a Black Rapid Arca plate, which is then attached uh, you know, quick attach to a small rig quick release, which is attached to the actual Weeble plate. And then I just have the Road Wireless Go 2. What? I don't even have a Road Wireless Go 2. Where the hell did that come from? I have the Road Wireless Go receiver up there, and clearly I'm wearing the transmitter. So, that's that. It is a lot warmer out here than I thought it was going to be. I'm already schwitz in here. But you don't need to look at me. Look at all the scenery behind me. And then I'll turn you around so you can look at the scenery in front of me. I hear a bird, but the grass is so high. Oh, there he is. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. Are the stones high enough for me to get across? should be. All right, I'm gonna keep both cameras out. This ought to be fun. Okay, you just take your time and you're good.
And right there, we have a yellow crusted night heron just chilling. So we're gonna let him just chill. All right, so I managed to see a couple of birds. One of them was really close. If I had my 200 to 600, I would have been able to get some seriously close up pictures of it. But that's okay, because that's not what this trip was for. And you see it, ah! And f***ing spiders. Yeah, get off me. Having spiders freaking go in your head isn't very fun. I'm literally gonna have to have somebody check me for spiders when I get out of here. I have walked into so many webs, it's just ridiculous. Okay, so there you have it. Definitely finding that the Weeble 2 setup, and again, I have my A7C on there, and the transmitter AI, finding that to be pretty heavy. And it's definitely too cumbersome to use if you're trying to hold something else in your hand. So while I've got my ZV-1 set up, you know, on the Yulanzi battery grip and all that shit, where I'm doing stuff with that camera, trying to hold that in my right hand while holding the gimbal set up in the other hand, I have a feeling that both footages are gonna suck. I decided to leave in the spider freak out because I figured I'd give you a, a good laugh. That I, I must have done that like 10 times walking through here today. Uh, I'm pretty much figuring that there are spiders living on me now because I walked through so many webs and had so many of them like come onto me. So yeah, great, my favorite thing. But that's pretty much it. As far as the gimbal goes, having it hooked up the way that I have it hooked up with the transmitter AI and being able to see the screen and everything has been unbelievably helpful because of uh, you know how you're holding it and when you're walking and all that kind of stuff you can't move the camera screen and if i'm holding it slung down way way down at the ground i can't see the camera screen but i can twist the screen on the gimbal and then i can see what the hell i'm doing and see how it looks so yeah let's hear it for that screen totally worth it now i didn't even bother to frustrate myself by trying to connect the app up to it and and you know draw a box around my melon and track me because like i did the last time 30 seconds to a minute, it cuts off. And I'm just not dealing with that, especially not when I'm carrying two different setups and I'm walking around here into spiders. You know, something's gotta give. So that's pretty much that. And I don't know, I'm still gonna give it a thumbs up. I know it's heavy, but I knew it was heavy when I bought it because that's what everybody said. But again, I like the heavier stuff because I like feeling the weight in my hand. I don't like really light setups. Uh, I have a real hard time with them and making things steady with them is even worse. And usually I drop shit. So when it's this heavy, you got a good grip on it. You're not gonna drop it. As far as the Weeble 2 goes, I highly recommend you get the transmitter AI and you get the package that has the handle. I didn't mind spending the extra $220 on you know, the transmitter AI, especially because it gives me the ability to connect the camera to the gimbals so I can see the screen. And in theory, I can use it with the app and I can track myself 30 seconds at a time until they fix it, if they ever fix it. That's pretty much all I got for you today. I just wanted to get outside, go for a walk in my favorite place. And I wanted to show you the majesty of Pleasure House Point stabilized. So as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.